Hello and welcome to the Marion County Sheriff's Office Newsroom. I'm Deputy Paul Bloom. And I'm Lauren Latillier here with your daily crime report first at 5. I keep smelling puppies in this room. There, there was were a lot, lot of, of them. Puppies. <laughs> <laughs> that was like herding squirrels in here earlier. The teleprompter says tell Lauren she smells like puppies and that put uh, a very strange look on my face. Yeah, I, I've learned Lauren, not to what did, say did, those Did uh, Valerie tell you to say that? Yes. I've learned not to say that. Hey, but on a note on those puppies, for you guys out there that have not got your wife a Valentine's gift yet, mm -hmm. that is coming up, by the way. One that what keeps on puppy? giving. I mean a puppy, yeah. A gift that keeps on giving. You can't go wrong giving. with that. Puppies I'm are not. Wonderful. Just I don't want my wife getting. No. <laughs> got enough pets. So. <laughs> but for other people out there, that's puppies something. are wonderful. They bring so much love into your life yeah. and so much craziness. Yeah. I like those puppies. I love them though. All right, here we go. You ready? Yep. Someone stole a gold and diamond necklace from the Ranch Fitness Center and Spa located on Southwest 80th Street after it was left in the bathroom. Total loss valued at $2,000. Uh -huh. You know, I once left a laptop in the bathroom when I was in college and it was stolen. And I will yeah. never forget that. So I know how that feels. Does I anybody turn anything totally in anymore? With you. Huh? Just, nobody turns anything in to the no, front desk. No, just, nobody has any heart it. anymore. So just... Terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible experience, and I know exactly how that feels. Well, hopefully they'll have a heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, if somebody gets a gold necklace for Christmas or for Valentine's Day that they weren't expecting, just it's not be yours. sure it wasn't stolen. Yeah. yeah, it's not yours. Hopefully not. Mm -hmm. We won't say it. Okay. All right, well, we had Deputy Jenkins. He conducted a traffic stop in the 6300 block of Southwest Highway 200 for suspicion of DUI. The driver, Eric Favor, failed the DUI sobriety test and was placed under arrest. During an inventory search prior to the vehicle being towed, Deputy Jenkins and Han located 20 methadone pills, wow. over $3,000 in U.S. cash, multiple mm -hmm. small zip-style bags, don't know what that's for, uh, methamphetamine residue, and a digital scale with the vehicle. Well, of course, Eric, he was transported to our Gold Star Hotel. Someone broke into a home in the 3600 block of Southwest 45th Avenue through a rear sliding glass door and stole miscellaneous electronics and jewelry. Total loss there is $1,600. All right. Well, that is all for today. Please like us and share us on Facebook. And we'll see you tomorrow for Man Cave Friday. That's right. Thanks for watching.